Okay, in today's video, I'm going to go over a couple simple problems involving a special kind of simple machine, which we call the inclined plane, or the ramp, and we're going to calculate, I'm going to show you how to calculate the mechanical advantage, determine the mechanical advantage of the inclined plane, and then how to determine the input force and the input distance. All right, let's get started. Now, I just want to say that earlier, I made a similar video to this one for pulleys, where we do some similar calculations, so you can link that video right here. If you'd like to. Now here is our inclined plane. It's this white triangle. It's a ramp. Here's the object we want to get up the ramp. It's this blue rectangle. And problem number one says if an inclined plane has a height of 1.5 meters and is 4.25 meters long, how much force do we need to apply to push the object with a push an object or a box with a weight of 75 newtons up the inclined plane? So we want to know the input force. How much force do we have to apply? And we use a simple machine because it lowers the amount of force we have to apply. Okay, it should be less than the weight of the object. Okay, if we had the object just sitting right here, and we want to lift it up, we would have to apply a force of 75 newtons to lift up a 75 newton object. But hopefully, we're gonna to have to put less force in. Now, what I like to do, have these two distances and these two forces, I like to write them down, fill in what I know and what I don't know, and then do my calculations. So an inclined plane has a height of 1.5 meters. The height of the inclined plane is the output distance. So I am going to put down that 1.5 is the output distance. All right, now it says the ramp is 4.25 meters long. That's the input distance I put down, 4.25 meters. I wanna know how much force do I need? How much force I have to apply is the input force, and it says the weight of the object is 75 newtons. So there you can see I have three of those things. I need to know the input force. Now, there are two equations that we can use, and these are the two equations because in order to do this problem, we first have to calculate the mechanical advantage. And there's two equations for the mechanical advantage. One is that the input, the mechanical advantage is equal to the input distance divided by the output distance. The other is mechanical advantage output force divided by input force. So we have either we need to know both distances or both forces. In this problem, we know both distances, so we're going to use this equation, which tells us in order to calculate the mechanical advantage, we're going to divide the input distance, which is 4.25 meters, divided by the output distance, which is 1.5 meters. And that gives us a mechanical advantage of 2.83. Now, it's not 2.83 meters or 2.83 newtons or whatever, because you'll notice we're dividing a meter by meter, this meter cancels with this meter, and the mechanical advantage, therefore, is always a unitless number. Okay, now in the previous video, we said definitely mechanical advantage is a factor by which the machine multiplies the input force. So this gun is going to multiply our force by a factor of almost three. Now we want to think about it. We have an object, I have to do a little thinking now, an object has a weight of 75 newtons, the mechanical advantage is almost three. What should the input force be? How much force do we have to apply if the machine is going to apply, uh, multiply the input force by three? So let's just do that and figure it out right now. We want to find the input force. Here's the equation that has the input force in it. Therefore, we have to rearrange this equation to solve for the input force. That means that the input force is equal to the output force divided by the mechanical advantage. We can substitute our numbers in. The output force is 75 newtons. The mechanical advantage is 2.83. We're gonna divide 75 newtons by 2.83, and we get 26.5 newtons, okay? This is a force, has the units of newtons. So in order to move this object up this ramp, we have to apply a force. We have to pull or push with a force of 26.5 newtons. Now that should make sense because the mechanical advantage is three approximately. Okay, one third of 75 is 25. This is just about 25. We have to apply a third of the force to get the object up the mechanic, up the incline plane. All right, so there you go. That is how we calculate the input force. Now we're going to do another problem. We're going to calculate how long the inclined plane is. So we have an object that weighs 150 newtons. It's on the inclined plane. The inclined plane is 1.7 meters, 1.75 meters high. 
and we know how much force we have to apply 35 newtons, we want to figure, it, figure out how long is the inclined plane. Once again, I like to write down all four, in, output, input, input, output, forces and distances, fill in what I know and what I don't know. The object has a weight of 150 newtons, that's the output force. The inclined plane has a height of 1.75 meters, that's the output distance. The force we need is 35 newtons, that's the input force, and we want to know how long the inclined plane is. That's the input distance. All right. Now, once again, we have two equations, our mechanical advantage equations, because that has our forces and our distances in it. And before we can actually calculate the input distance, we have to calculate the mechanical advantage again. All right. Now, it's either both distances or both forces. Now, in this case, we don't know one of the distances, but we know both forces. So we're going to use this bottom equation to calculate the mechanical advantage. The mechanical advantage is the output force 115 divided by 35. That tells us that the mechanical advantage is 3.25. Right, now we know the mechanical advantage. We know the output distance. We can solve for the input distance. And in this case, the input distance is going to be the mechanical advantage times the output distance. Here we do a little cross multiplying. Input distance, the length of the ramp, is the mechanical advantage times the height of the ramp. So we're going to plug our values in. We said the mechanical advantage is 3.29. The output distance, the height, is 1.75 meters. And that tells us that the this case, this inclined plane, is 5.76 meters long. All right? So there you go. In that case, we calculated the length of the inclined plane. All right, so that was a few, couple, uh, two simple problems where we had to calculate the mechanical advantage and then the force, and in this case, the distance. I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, please do all the following three things. Subscribe to my channel and get all my excellent physics, chemistry, and math videos. Give me a nice thumbs up for this video and then leave me a nice positive comment in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching. In the next video, we're going to go over the incredibly exciting topic of work. So here's a link to that. Check that out and you will be complete. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.